When 3i Atlas was first spotted, it looked like nothing more than a faint flicker against the vast black of space, a quiet white shimmer on the edge of emptiness. It moved slowly and predictably, as comets usually do. Yet no one could have foreseen how that pale dot would evolve into the most unnerving cosmic mystery of our age. Now, months later, it no longer looks anything like a natural object. The once white gleam has disappeared. The yellow haze that followed has burned out. The emerald light that enthralled astronomers all summer is gone. In its place now burns an eerie blood-red glow, pulsing like the core of a living reactor. This isn't the mild red of Martian dust. It's the color of plasma, of something scorching from within. When astronomers first examined 3i Atlas in infrared, it emitted nearly 10 gigawatts of heat, already 100 times the energy output of Chernobyl. But the latest data indicates it has surged beyond 50 gigawatts, an impossible amount for any natural comet. It's no longer reflecting solar light. It's generating its own, as if something deep inside has awakened. Scientists have no consensus, yet a few, led by Harvard astrophysicist A. Loeb, suggest the answer might be more direct than anyone imagines. Loeb, who's been monitoring it since its discovery, says the transformation began subtly as it entered the inner solar system. At first, 3i Atlas glowed white, sunlight bouncing off ice and dust. Then, as it neared the sun, it developed a yellowish tail, signaling sublimation, where ice shifts straight into vapor. What came next, though, defied explanation. Practically overnight, the comet blazed into a brilliant green ore, but so bright it lit up telescopes from Namibia to Chile. Initially, scientists attributed this to diatomic carbon fluorescence, a simple ultraviolet reaction. But when the spectrographic readings arrived, they exposed something impossible. There were no carbon chain molecules at all. The green hue shouldn't have existed. No known natural process could produce it. Now, suddenly, the green brilliance is gone, replaced by a deep crimson radiance so intense that detectors register temperatures 5,000 degrees higher than expected for its distance from the sun. In other words, the object has begun producing its own energy. According to Loeb, the color shifts aren't random. They're sequential, purposeful, a timeline of ignition. He describes it as watching an engine awaken phase by phase. White marked the dormant state, sunlight reflecting off a frozen shell, conserving potential. Yellow represented energy absorption when it started drawing in radiation, storing it like a charging cell. Green marked activation, the point where the body turned self-luminous, no longer reliant on external light. And red, the final phase, signifies full ignition, the deep core powering on. If true, 3i Atlas isn't heating up by accident. It's turning itself on. That raises the question, what's driving it? Observatories measuring the gases around its coma have discovered baffling results. Clouds filled with nickel vapor, CO2, and metallic dust. That's not typical comet chemistry. Nickel vaporizes at nearly 3,000 degrees Celsius, the temperature of a small star's surface, something that shouldn't occur so far from the sun, near Mars. The heat must originate internally. Even stranger, this combination of nickel, carbon dioxide, and infrared radiation perfectly matches the exhaust signature of a plasma propulsion mechanism. Nickel is a standard component in spacecraft engine alloys, and such systems release traces of nickel and CO2 when firing. Everything suggests not sublimation, but exhaust. The timing of the red illumination aligns with that pattern. As 3i Atlas passed near Mars, Gravitational changes would demand any artificial probe to increase its thrust. That power surge would elevate both its temperature and its spectral emissions toward red light. So what if that's what we're witnessing? Not a comet reacting to sunlight, but a machine adjusting propulsion, shifting gears like an engine under load. There's one more strange detail that scientists can't dismiss. It's mass. Most comets lose mass as they move through space. Their ice evaporates, their cores shrink, and they gradually scatter debris across their paths. But with 3i Atlas, the opposite appears to be happening. The further it travels, the heavier it becomes. Initial estimates placed its mass near 10 billion tons at discovery. Now it exceeds 33 billion tons. That should be impossible 
unless it's actively accumulating material. This can only imply one conclusion, it's feeding. If 3i Atlas is indeed an alien mechanism, the red luminescence observed could represent plasma energy, consuming interplanetary dust or gases as fuel, gathering matter while it moves. Its growing weight may be an essential part of that process, pulling in particles and transforming them into usable energy. Some theoretical physicists suggest that a highly advanced civilization might engineer a stereo. Spacecraft capable of powering itself this way, absorbing ambient radiation and cosmic dust endlessly. Yet the most chilling evidence comes from its path. All known comets wobble naturally as they release gases. The tiny bursts act like uneven thrusters, slightly nudging them off course. Oumuamua, the first known interstellar visitor, deviated erratically. Tui Borisov shifted more than 100 kilometers a day, but 3i Atlas remains unnaturally consistent. Its route hasn't varied more than a kilometer daily since discovery. It's flying in a straight, unwavering line, as though something is steering it. No natural comet has ever moved with such precision. For Loeb and other unconventional astrophysicists, that's the defining clue. A steady path combined with shifting light emissions, metallic gas traces, and accumulating mass doesn't describe a natural body. It describes something directed, perhaps alive, or artificially guided. Of course, not everyone agrees. Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku have proposed more traditional theories, though their confidence seems thin even as they explain them. Tyson suggests the red hue might come from iron-rich minerals exposed after the surface ice burned away, glowing crimson under sunlight. Kaku adds that intricate chemical reactions could occur as comets enter different solar zones, each region altering their properties uniquely. Despite their attempts to rationalize the phenomenon, both admit the data simply doesn't align. The extreme nickel levels, dense carbon dioxide presence, and complete lack of carbon chains are just rare. They defy natural physics. Even Tyson, known for skepticism, recently admitted in an interview that it's behaving like something that doesn't want to be a comet. Even if 3i Atlas were the most bizarre comet ever found, it shouldn't remain this stable, this enormous, or this intentional in its progression. Each time scientists attempt an explanation, new inconsistencies arise but Loeb believes the ultimate turning point is near. In the coming days, 3i Atlas will encounter Jupiter, the largest and most volatile gravitational presence in our solar system apart from the Sun. If it truly is a constructed object, this will be its most defining test. To survive Jupiter's immense pull, it would need to recalibrate its thrust. That means, if Loeb's theory is correct, another color shift will occur. Should the red fade or shift toward blue or even bright white, it might signify that the object is entering another energy phase, stabilizing under Jupiter's influence. If the hue holds steady, it may already have reached full operational capability. Either scenario will reveal whether the object is adrift or directed. So what do you think? Are we witnessing the reawakening of a long dormant machine gliding through the void or merely witnessing the strangest natural comet ever observed, breaking every known physical rule? Share your thoughts below and if you want to follow what happens next, don't forget to like, subscribe and enable notifications because whatever 3i Atlas truly is, its story is far from finished.